my name is Jordan and when I was 16, drinking caused me to be publicly humiliated in front of all of my friends. I enjoy reading and writing poetry. I can be assertive, but sometimes stubborn. When I'm in my room, I don't have a TV, so I'm usually playing music. I'm very uh, inquisitive as well. Jordan lives in London. His experience with alcohol put his life at serious risk. Well, I was 16 and I was working at the time and one of my friends was having a big party for his birthday and I thought, uh, yeah, tonight I'm gonna get some brandy because I just got paid and that's what the big boys drink apparently. We went over to the shop and bought two bottles of brandy. We had in every intention of getting drunk that night. It was the first time I'd actually ever bought a drink. So it was, yeah, it was a big moment, but it was crazy because it was on 70 pounds worth of drink. I wanted to have a wild night, I guess, because I'd never been drunk before. I had money now, and I didn't really have a care in the world for that one night. Then we made our way to the party, drinking a bit on the way to get a, like, get a bit, not drunk, but tipsy. So we're in a nice place when we get to the party. Alcohol is measured in units, which vary depending on the size and strength of the drink. A small bottle of medium strength beer is roughly one unit. A small glass of wine is around 1.6 units, whilst Jordan's bottle of brandy contained at least 28 units. We got to the party with the two brandies and they were like, oh, they bought brandy. I wouldn't say we felt like kings, but we felt very, we felt very like, powerful, I guess. I thought, yeah, we're big guys now, so we sat at the table, put our bottles of brandy down. We didn't really think about pacing ourselves at all. Most of the time, I was swigging it from the bottle, and I didn't know how much I had been drinking, and I was drinking it like it's juice. We were just drinking, drinking, drinking. When you're drunk, you feel a bit more confident in yourself. So he was ordering people about, telling them to put on my music, telling them to go shop and get some more drink, telling them to get me some chicken and chips. I was having a really good time, and then I went to sit down, and I missed the chair, and I was like, oh. oh my. Then my head started, it all happened in the space of about two minutes, my head started spinning. I felt sick, I was like, oh, no, I've had, looked at the bottle, it was empty. I was like, oh, oh no, I've had too much to drink. It's like everything you imagine it to be like when you're absolutely drunk off your face and it's not a nice thing at all. It was a nightmare because the whole, the whole party was just spinning around my head. As alcohol reaches the liver, it's broken down into water and carbon dioxide, which is expelled through sweat, urine and breath. But the liver can only break down one unit per hour, whereas Jordan had drunk over 15 units. Highly dangerous amounts of alcohol and toxins were building up in his bloodstream, putting his body at serious risk. Then I started being sick. After I was sick for the first time, no one really knew what to do, to be honest. Everyone was just hanging around like, oh, Jordan's been sick. And I was just lying there. I remember people getting annoyed. I just wanted the ground to swallow me up. I just, I just wanted to be home and for it to all be over. The friend I came with and another friend, they said, no, take him outside to the drive. So they've taken me out on the drive and I'm just lying on the floor. It was uh, quite messy, I was like <laughs> in my own sick bit. I was trying to fall asleep, I think, but I can't really remember. Alcohol irritates the stomach and can cause it to discharge or vomit its contents. Large amounts of alcohol can disrupt the gag reflex system triggered in the throat, which prevents sick entering the lungs. If the airways are blocked by vomit, breathing can become disrupted, leading to choking and even death. In this state, an individual should never be laid out on their back, left alone or allowed to fall asleep. Medical advice should be sought immediately. No one knew what to do, so they just called my parents to come pick me up 
and I just felt humiliated. Throughout the night, you don't think about any of the medical effects. You just think about how fun it's going to be when you get drunk. You don't think about any side effects of what could poss... You don't think about possibly being sick. But back then, I was like, nah, it's never going to happen. I woke up the next day without any memory of what had happened and I stood up and as soon as I stood up the whole room just started spinning and I had the most banging headache. It was a nightmare that my stomach was doing somersaults. It was the worst possible thing that could ever happen after a night of drinking, I guess. I remember I went through stages. I felt like I was ill, but I knew what made me ill, so I felt it was really humiliating, I guess. Alcohol is a diuretic, making the body urinate and sweat more. Dehydration from loss of water makes the body feel thirsty and weak and increases the heart rate, all of which occur during a hangover. The throbbing headache associated with a hangover is thought also to be partly caused by alcohol opening up the blood vessels to the brain, putting pressure on its protective layers. It wasn't worth it at all. It, it sounds a bit extreme, but I, would, I could have died that night. I didn't really realise until probably a few days later how serious it could have been. And it's something that you don't think about while you're drinking or even probably while you're being sick, but it can happen 